Today we will be teaching you how to make a paper circuit. The things you will need are copper tape, LED light, coin battery, and colored pencils. This is the example that we are making today. Step 1. You can start out by coloring your drawing. We chose to do a cupcake to make a birthday card, but you can choose whatever you'd like. Step 2 is constructing it. First, you're going to put a diagram that has the battery, where the tapes go, and the LED light. You're going to start off by placing the tape on every line that you drew. You have to go all the way to the light and to the battery. So you'll do it on one side and then you'll do it on the next side. And make sure when you do an edge, you fold back and then you bring it straight forward again so it doesn't get crinkled. Then rip it off at the bottom when you're done. Step three. First, you're going to take your battery and you're going to put the positive side towards the longer piece of tape and the negative towards the shorter piece of tape. You're going to put two pieces of tape on it to keep it down, but you have to make sure that there's space between the two tape pieces so that when the paper is folded over, it hits the battery. Then you're going to take your LED light and you're going to stick it through the front and you're going to put the two prongs straight through and you're going to make sure that the longer end goes towards the positive side and the negative end goes towards, and the shorter side goes to the negative end. Then you're going to tape that down with two pieces of tape. Make sure that the prongs are touching the conductive tape so it works properly. Then you fold the paper over to make sure, and there you go. Today we showed you an example of a simple circuit, but the possibilities are endless. Thank you guys so much for watching. We enjoyed making this video. Yes, this is a great technique to use in a classroom. You can use it with young kids and with older kids. It's a great way to teach them how to make a simple circuit. so it's easy for a teacher to go and get or for a school to purchase for a classroom and you can make it more complex for the older kids just by adding more circuitry to it to make a more <laughs> complex circuit. The possibilities for this project are endless and the kids can express the kids their creativity. Exactly. exactly. It's a great project. Thank you Mrs. Miller. <laughs>